guys, it's Kimmy. Um, I'm trying to get this camera to focus for you guys. It's there you go. So you can see my mess of a desk, right? Oh, okay, so I got a haul video from you, and it's from Shabby Scraps, and it's www.zibit.com slash or backslash Shabby Scraps, okay? And this is an OMG deal, okay? Like, I am so excited about this because I got some scrump delamsha stuff at the most amazing prices ever. So, I wanted to share it with you guys and show you what I got. I haven't even opened it. I've been waiting and stalking the mail lady all day for this package. So, okay, let me get a drink because I'm so excited. Like, I can't even talk, so I gotta get my zen moment so I can start talking. Okay, so, the mail lady finally came and shoved my package in the mailbox, by the way. Like, this is a big old package. I don't know why she stuck it in my mailbox, but the fight in the war between me and my mail lady is nonstop. But anyways, off topic, really, but okay, so. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Chris, I'm going to open this last because this is, look, it says happy birthday from me. Oh, Carissa, what did you do? Okay. Winning is from MDC. Oh, she stuck, she stuck my MDC stuff in here. That is so cool. Okay. So, anyways, last month we had a challenge on the Messy Desk Crap Group on Facebook. And the challenge was to make something recycled, at least 50% recycled. And I made this camouflage uh, wreath out of my husband's old ACU uniform. And um, then I took some of my son's uh, t-shirts. I went and dug through his old clothes that I was going to take to Goodwill. And I found a red shirt, a white shirt, and a blue shirt. And then I went to Goodwill and I was looking for something to decorate the top of the wreath with. And I found this old like Americana red, white, and blue heart that says God Bless the USA on it. And I took and I... And I bought that because it was old and it was used. So I figured, you know, it's recycled if you're making it into something new, right? And then I took two coat hangers and I made them in a circle. And then I shredded my husband's old uniform, <laughs> which the um, pockets and everything have been ripped out anyway. So there was no saving it anyway. So, but anyways, yeah, anyways, 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 let me get it out real quick. Okay. So, I made a wreath out of the ACU uniform, and then I hand-sewn some cute little uh, red, white, and blue daisies with, like, different colored centers of red, white, and blue. And I put that on there, and then I took and I sanded down the heart, and I repainted the heart, and I put um, our last name and then family, and then since the year we became a family on the bottom and everything, and I won! I was so excited! So, um, back at Messy Desk told me to pick $10 a product off of um, Shabby Scraps, which is one of my favorite exhibit shops anyway to shop from. And so Carissa sent it in my order. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And one of my newfound favorite things to play with are these acrylic flowers. And you can do so many things with them. You can make jewelry, whatever. And so I just picked a bunch of different acrylic flowers that I wanted. And I got them in the pink. And this gorgeous purple. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I showed you in my design team package the pink. But I have to show you this purple. This is going to go on my mom's Mother's Day present. Oh. Look at that purple. Like, let me see. I'll put it against something white so you can see better. Look at that purple. Look at it sparkle. I'm hoping this is in focus. You guys, I'm doing this on my cell phone because I broke my old camera. And I've been doing it on my cell phone for a few weeks now. But I'm still, like, so not, I don't know, functional with it, I guess. It would be one way to say it. And then I got some of the emerald green. Look at that color green against this white paper. Oh, it is so pretty. And then this, I think this is periwinkle. This one was, it almost reminded me of like a patina color blue. And I had to have it. And it just sparkles so much. I love these so much. And then this one is the light blue, I think. But look how pretty those are. I'm so excited to play with these. Thank you, Beck, for sending me my package. I love you. I am so excited about winning that. 
And you guys, these little packages, they're only $1.75. Like, you can't come across the quality of these cute little crystal flowers at the dollar store. Like, like, and let me see how many you get. You get six of them. Yeah. For $1.75. Like, how affordable is that? Like, I haven't seen them anywhere under $3. Anywhere. So. And they got some size and weight to them. And they make the cutest earrings or, like, embellies for scrapbooking and everything. Because they're not, like, too thick. Sorry. I'm so excited I keep having to take a drink. Okay. And I also ordered. This one was, like, I was so shocked. For $7.95, I think is what I spent on it. Let me see. Is there a... I've seen it somewhere in here somewhere. Okay, so there's a price label there. Oh, it's right here. Okay, let me tell you how much I spent on this, and let me tell you what it is. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, $7.75. Sorry, it's less than I said what it was, because I think I said $7.95. This is a Ranger's Ink Essential Nonstick Craft Mat. I blow through these because I'm really like <laughs> I keep forgetting they're not like exacto proofed yet <laughs> so I keep cutting mine up and I'm, I'm ruining them so I've purchased several from my local scrapbooking store at like $25 a piece so for it to be $7.75 I could not pass this up because I needed a new one desperately like I could show you the ones that like I've ruined. So, okay. Let me make sure this bag is empty. Okay. Okay. So, of course, I have to order some of these gorgeous, 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 gorgeous bird um, cage charms with the cutest little bird in there because I need some for my hoard stash. And I got this, the cutest, um, uh, mini album, and it's the castles, and I was thinking, you know what, when I moved, and, um, bless these soldiers' hearts, um, my husband was wounded and everything, and he couldn't lift or anything, so a bunch of the guys from his old unit come, and they moved us, but on the most rainiest, like, awful weather day that it could have ever possibly have happened and a bunch of my boxes got soaked and I cried for days and days and days and days when my wedding album happened to be in one of those boxes and it was completely ruined so um thank goodness for um digital backups so I still have all my photos but my album is destroyed so I've been slowly collecting stuff that I want to do a mini album with of mine and my husband's um wedding pictures and so I seen this and I'm like, how cute would this be as a wedding album with like pictures, you know, like the king and queen make, make a castle, blah, 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 or whatever. Cause you know, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's corny, but <laughs> I just seen this and I thought, how cute would my wedding album be in this cute little castle? So I got that. And I got some of the, um. Did I order these? Let me look. I ordered a lot because everything was... Okay, pair of pens. I guess I did order these. Okay. Okay, and these were $3.75 and she's calling them pair of pens. And these, they got like, um, they're really strong metal, so they'll hold up. And I was thinking, how cute would like a Sorry, I got a hiccup now that I'm, you know, drinking all the time. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, oh, anyways, um, the metal is really strong, but they're not too hard to, like, unpin and, and open and everything. Like, you can do it, but, like, hanging, like, these heavy charms from it, it's not going to come undone, and it's not going to, the weight of the charm isn't going to stretch the metal. Like, so, I fell, instantly fell in love with these pair of pins because it just, especially when, when I have, you know, these long nails and everything, using the little O-rings and stuff for me isn't exactly the easiest thing to do anymore. So, this is, like, a lifesaver. I love these pair of pins. I recommend those to who whoever makes, like, jewelry charms or whatever. Or just, you know, have around the house is an everyday household item. 
And then I got these cutest little vintage scissor charms. I'm a charm fanatic. Like, if I pulled my charms out right now and showed you guys all my charms, you'd be like, wow. So I needed some for my hoard stash. I'm like, yeah, they go in the hoard pile. And then I ordered some of these gorgeous, gorgeous Eiffel Tower charms. I could not pass these up for the deal they were. Let me tell you how much these charms were. And the weight of these charms, I was so shocked. Eiffel Tower charms, $2. I was shocked. This is $2. You can't go to, to like, any of the big box stores and buy one charm for $2, let alone the quality and the, the weight of these Eiffel Tower charms. You cannot do it. So, I'm sorry. $2, it's a steal. For me, I'm like, I should have bought, like, $50 worth of them just so I can stash boy. Okay, and then I got some of the little, let me make sure. Okay, what she's calling them. Okay, these are called Half Pearls Cream Bows. And they're the cutest little, like, halfback pearls. But they're, instead of being, like, round, like, the average, regular, whatever, round, no one else has these, you guys. And they're bows. And they are so darling. But guess what? It gets even better. Because they come in pink. I'm so excited. I need a little girl, you guys. Like, my little, my, my sister-in-law is always getting girly stuff for me for my niece. Because I don't have one of my own almost. Oh, I need more girls in my life to create for. I'm telling you. I live in a house full of men. Except my one girl dog. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, look how cute. And they're so intricate and detailed. Like, to look up at them close. Like, I don't know if you can. But they're gorgeous. So I got those. And then, like I was telling you guys, one of my new favorite things are these acrylic flowers. And this one right here is this deep blue. Let me see if I can figure out which ones okay I think this is the royal blue right here that is such a pretty color and you know this color really goes well with um boy boy stuff I guess like mini albums graphic pages and stuff because of the color like you can use this flower on there and you can embelly around it with like trucks and stuff and like it works well with boy stuff and then this one is aqua. Look at that color shimmer. I love the shimmer of these flowers. They're one of my new favorite things. I'm telling you, I ordered some and I got some in um, a prize. Look at those pink flowers. I couldn't pass up the pink because everybody knows how I feel about pink. And then I got some. Oh, let me open these. Okay. Look at these. Okay, this is, I don't know if you can see that color. Did I drop one? Oh, I dropped it on the floor. I'll get it. Oh, okay. Look at that color. Can you see that shimmer? Like when I move it? I love the iridescence of that where it just, it is so pretty. It is the softest color pink ever too. I love it. Compared to like, here's the bright pink. Right, let me, okay, light pink and hot pink. Okay, light pink, hot pink. I love this color. I'm telling you, some earrings or something, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> and then I also got a package of the red flowers. Because I couldn't help myself with the flowers. I couldn't stop. And so Bam Bam, Bam Bam's like the freaking, she tells you you can't spend nothing. And she's, she's really good when you're a shopaholic to take with you to, like, the store because she'll look at you because she don't spend nothing. She'll, she'll be like, are you sure you need that? What are you going to do with all that? Are you sure you need that? You know? But then sometimes she's not so much fun when I want to buy a bunch of stuff and she won't let me. I don't know. But I also got some of these. Okay, what is she calling these just so... Okay, chiffon rose trim. Okay. Chiffon rose trim. But, look, it's, she has it in black. And I'm like, okay, how pretty would this be in my wedding album? Because, like, I got the, um... Teresa Collins' uh, wedding album, His and Hers. And so, I was, like, the paper, not the album. But it's all black and white. And I'm like, how pretty and gorgeous would this be in that little mini album? So... And everything is so carefully packaged. I love that. Thank you, Carissa, for... You know, packaging my stuff like you would like to get yours. So it's like, 
And look at this, look at this trim. That is so gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that really well. On white, not really, huh? But look, can you see that? That is so pretty. I love this. I gotta, I gotta do something with it now. <gasps> okay, so anyways, I know you guys are probably like, look at that goofy goo, but she's being so weird. I'm kinda, I don't know. I hate talking to myself, so I gotta be like goofy in order to not feel funny about talking on camera. I don't know if a lot of you guys do that, but that's kind of sort of, yeah, me. Okay, so I also ordered some of these really cute um, butterfly appliques. Let me see if I can pull one out without pulling out all of them. Look. I should use some of these on my design team package. I love that. And you get a whole little baggie of them. And the price was, like, phenomenal. You get this whole little package of them. I'm going to say there's, like, I don't want to dump them out, but it looks like there could be, like, ten of them in there. Okay. And let me see. Okay. Butterfly appliques. $1.75. For all of those. Okay. Could you imagine the time it would, you know, it takes people to make these, like, I wanted to get an embroidery machine, and my aunt told me, she was like, because you got to cut them out, and all this stuff, and blah, 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 and I'm like, I'd rather just buy them. I like the easy button, you know, just click pay. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, and then I also got, let me pull one of these out, the large butterfly appliques. I love these. So much. I have a tutorial I want to show you guys how to make these like stiff and um, to where you could like sort of, sort of like mold them into shape. I want to show you guys how to do that. Okay, so I got those and these were a dollar fifty, the larger ones. But I think there's like only like five of them in here. One, two, three, four. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So, but awesome price. I love it. I love it so much. Okay. And then I also got some of the white chiffon roses trim here. And I think it's a yard. And let me tell you how much I spent just for a yard of these. Okay. Because I haven't seen. I've spent upwards to like $7 a yard of this stuff. Because I do love this. And I've got it in several different colors before. But let me see. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. $3.25 a yard. Okay. Do some shopping. Do some comparing. I'm telling you, you're not going to find it cheaper anywhere else. Look. Okay. I'm so excited about that. Because I'm waiting patiently for more colors. Well, I could die on myself, but like I said, I like the easy button. And then I also got some of the black scene binding. Bam Bam actually picked these two out. And then after I hit Pam, like, you know what? She picked them out for her. But I'm like, I can still use these. So I'm going to have to go back and buy more. So Bam don't know I'm using what she picked out for herself. So don't tell her because she's not here today. <laughs> she's supposed to be here tomorrow. But then, like, I told my mom I was going to come help paint today. And I didn't. And I told her, okay, well, because my husband had a doctor's appointment, so I had to get my little boy off the bus because today's my husband's day off. So I made plans to go over and help Bam paint her house today. And I had to say, no, I can't because I didn't have nobody to get my little boy off the bus. So long story short is I told her I'd come over and help her paint tomorrow, but tomorrow I really don't feel like painting either. So, yeah. Okay, I'm... I don't know if I want to open this like, camera because if I start crying, I'm just, I'm not saying bye or anything. I'm just going to hit end <laughs> the video. What did you do, Krista? Oh my gosh. Oh, she sent some gorgeous seam binding. Oh my gosh, Carissa. You know what? It's so funny. I bought the same line from, um... I'm speechless. I can't even think of it now. What is it called? I'm going to cry, Carissa. This is why you said funny talking about a wedding album, huh? 
These are some gorgeous flowers. She made these, you guys. Oh my gosh. Krista. This is absolutely stunning. I can't, I haven't even opened it yet and I'm about to start to cry. I bought this same kit, like, not too long ago. I want to find out. I can't even think of the owner, like, the, the make, the maker of it. Oh. I'm so speechless right now. Okay, that's my Prima area. No, that's, no, that's Kate Paisley, so that's not Prima. Doctor's pages. Okay, what is this one? You guys. Okay, this is crepe paper. That's who makes this line. I bought this too when I seen it. I love the yellow roses. Oh, I'm gonna cry. It is so beautiful. Thank you, lovey. You just made my birthday, and my birthday's not for another two days. I love this so much, darling. Look at this gorgeous mini she made me. And just so beautiful. You put so much time into this. Thank you. I love it. Look at this. Like, it's like back-to-back. -back. Oh. I love this so much. I'm going to load it up with pictures and then I'm going to have to show you. Thank you, Carissa. Let me see. Okay. I may even save the wrapper. How corny am I, right? Thank you, Carissa. Okay, thank you for all the wonderful goodies, too. I love your shop, sweetie. Look at this seam binding. It goes so pretty without flower. I'm going to use it in here. <coughs> I'm going to cry, okay? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Toodles. Thank you, Carissa. I love you, sweetie.